something a little bit different tonight we've got a game that isn't a Konami game it's a little game called Cabal by the Tad Corporation is it yeah now the story isn't as straightforward as that apparently uh, that was like a little Cabal of Data East employees that wanted to make something a little different so this is what we got let's get it going so let's this is the first here. level of five Five levels, four screens. Let's get to some shooting. Five levels, four screens, and a whole lot of just destruction. Look at this. Oh. Level them. Oh. Get some. Get some. All right. Here we go. Oh, he got me. Get some. Coming back in. Now, you can roll. Uh, the game originally had a trackball. So what you would do to make them roll is to just... Spin the trackball as fast as you can. Oh, hell yeah, that's what I would do. Apparently, I can't get behind that wall for some reason, though. I thought that's like Strange. what I can do. Oh, yeah, right wait. over here. <sighs> thing, thing is, they can come at you from an angle. So, that's another thing. This was one of the first games to use this kind of perspective to great effect, really. I mean, look, look at that distance. That tank. Oh, yeah, that they guy. got that isometric view. That's pretty unusual. For this over the head or over the shoulder style gallery shooter. It's pretty yep. ahead of its time for 1988. I know I loved it as a kid. Oh, I love this as a kid. It's so fun. Better than the Rambo NES game. <laughs> <laughs> but this was a fun game. There was uh, that 1930s shooter. Um, can't remember the name of it, but it was out there, and you were like this 30s looking gangster shooting in a circus. We'll, uh, we'll throw up a video of it, or a little, uh, clip of that one. Yeah, that, that was you know, interesting. You can see the similarities. You know, we'll, we'll see if we can find a good clip of that one. Got some oh, yeah, news. Come on. Come on. Right. It's important to also knock down the building, see? Very important. Oh. Leave nothing standing. Take it all down. <laughs> rip it all apart. Now, I saw when, you know, doing a little bit of research for this game, that it was a uh, Vietnam-era game, supposedly. Uh, I I never really caught that vibe as a kid, but I, I get where they were coming from. But, you know, because the architecture and things just didn't look very Vietnam to me, but I get it. Still lots of fun. I feel like the uniforms are Vietnam. The uh, the equipment that they're driving is, is Soviet. But, you know, the actual locations definitely don't seem Vietnam to me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe other, maybe our viewers here can uh, confirm or deny that, but they definitely don't. Ooh. Yeah, at, at least I guess not what we think of in the media, you know, and like all the different uh, Platoon. Actually, Platoon came out around this time. Oh, such a good movie. Yeah, 100%. And did you ever know, look, watch, I'm going to shoot this plane here. And yeah. it's gonna crumble like like a wall. <laughs> Guess they did that to save memory. Kind of weird, but almost know. certainly. But you know, it's funny that it, it's just like, is this plane made of bricks, balsa wood? <laughs> uh, possibly. Maybe that's why it's sitting there. I mean, who? Okay. Yeah, oh, oh, get the machine gun. Oh, let me see if no, I can get it. I got clipped by, yeah. uh, ten, by a ten. There we go. Um, I feel. Take out that cop. So, so extra manly right now, like, you know. Oh. Oh, bombs incoming. Got it, got it, got it. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Nice. Ripping them up. Nice. Alright. All right. So, pro tip here, you can shoot the bombs before they drop and explode. So you do have a little bit of a chance to defend yourself. Yep. And uh, I'm sure you guys can get the general gist of the game. There's the enemy bar down at the bottom here. You know, there's yes. not a specific number. I, I'm guessing they all have values, but see, it's running down as we're kind of wiping them out. Yeah, I think it's every two guys we take out. Um, that's one bar. The equipment and the armor that you take out is more. All right, this is our first boss, by the way. It's a <laughs> pretty crazy <laughs> Look at this looking thing. Look. All right, come on. Oh, 
Yep, good, good. All right, let, him, let it rain with the with the nades. Wow! Nice, quick. He didn't have a chance. Should came should have came with two choppers. <laughs> not two, not a double rotary bladed chopper. Two choppers. Now you know this level's this a little weird. You're just kind of fighting in like a pond area, you know, like a park. <laughs> while hiding behind these uh Mario pipes. You know, it's funny you said that. I don't I don't know if we ever talked about this as kids or not, but you know, they they oh. do look like Mario pipes. They do. And I always thought that. I thought it was just me, but I'm glad I'm not alone. No, no. It's uh you're thinking as a kid, oh, there's Mario. It's a video game. Of course it's going to be Mario pipes. All video games got Mario pipes, right? I mean, it's just <laughs> a factor of the time. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like how we all just kind of accepted Mario 2 for being Mario 2, even though it wasn't. It was a video game, and we loved it. <laughs> so there's, here's the pro tip for everybody. Abuse the roll. You get a period of, of invulnerability when you're rolling. So if you're in mid-roll and the bullet's coming at you, it doesn't, it doesn't register as a hit. So you can just stand still, last second, roll out of the way. Or you can just stand there and get shot like I did. <laughs> well, that, that's the ultra pro gamer move right there. Well, when you got the ability to just buy your way out of this problem with enough quarters, why roll out of the way? Just just give it more quarters. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure the bank uh, is starting to think some thoughts every time I'm walking out of there. You know, all oh, those quarters. Yeah. You know, they're thinking that you're just going to be a five-year-old mortgaging a house <laughs> with quarters. <laughs> <laughs> you mean that's not how it's done? Well, right. maybe not not these days anymore. You know, I'm pretty <laughs> sure quarters are fairly useless everywhere. When was the last time you used a quarter any on anything? You know, an arcade machine. Let's yeah, see. you don't see those much anymore. Nope. But that's what oh. we're here right now, playing this classic. Share with everybody, you know, like uh so guys. In the arcade, how far did you guys usually get? You know, uh, did you find it kind of chaotic like we're finding now? Tell us about it. And yeah, also, I, that I really wish I had there. seen. I really wish I had seen one of those um, trackball cabinets in the arcade. I really did. Uh, that, that, that. I feel like that would have been really neat to play this game that way. You know, considering you and I played this mostly on the NES, which was a pretty fantastic port. And there's some really interesting story about how they ported that over to the NES from Rare. You want to fill us in on that one? Oh, yeah. So when they were tasked with build, doing, building the port, you know, they were given the arcade machine, which, of course, cool, but, you know, source material. But, of course, being a programmer, you really need the source code, right? They weren't yeah, given course, any that of that. Makes sense. They, they literally just played the game and just tried to replicate it the best they could by playing the game on the machine. Talk about some serious programming jobs. That is really impressive. Yeah, they had to recreate this game from scratch. That's crazy. Also, stock up on your grenades by taking out the medics, apparently. Commit uh -huh. war crimes. Get pr Commit war crimes, get prizes. That's the message of this game. <laughs> hey, man. You know, it's, uh, it's the Cold War. There's no rules. Hey, except there this. totally are. So look at this. This is supposed to be a Vietnam. Do you see this house, this pond, and this grass? What yes. here to you or our viewers, does this look like this would be Vietnam to you guys? Any bit of this? I mean, it's possible that this is a Vietnam looking thing with the Spanish Mediterranean villa. <laughs> you know, um, I don't know. You know, maybe it's just kind of like. I, it looks kind of run down. Maybe, well, maybe we blew it up. Well, you're right. Take it down. Ah. Focus on knocking down the bu building with my bullets that they got me with their grenade. Oh, there you go. Oh. Just blowing everything up Rambo style. Yep, no quarter. Can't. Oh, yeah. Here comes my Rambo gun. Submachine gun. You know, I, I gotta say, right? Like, obviously, this old school arcade sound. But the uh, the machine guns are just so satisfying to use. Oh yeah, <laughs> it just 
tears everything apart. All right, oh, man. we're getting close to the end of this level. If I recall, this is uh, we're gonna face the boss. Uh, yes. You guys are gonna love this one. You guys are gonna love this one. Wait, there it is. It's a submarine in a pond. Not only that, I'm pretty sure submarines weren't used in Vietnam, but you know. Uh, especially in ponds. All right. This is probably, in my opinion, the one of the hardest bosses to fight in this game. He just is such a random yeah. attack. With... Definitely a, a quarter muncher, man. Come on. I'm gonna get back in here and help me take down this sub. Alright, alright. Oh. See, I like how they have those bullets that they move at different speeds. So they really, really mess with you. Boom. Alright, come on. Two more bars. It's, we got this guy. Oh, coward, come back here and face me. That's also another thing, right? Why do you need a submarine that big in, in a... It, it's not even really a lake. In it's a like, pond. It's a pond. It's a koi pond. And it's got a nuclear submarine in there. I, hey, man, you know, I guess it was just a different time back then. Yeah, a whole lot of nose candy, that's for sure. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm, who, who I'm not going to lie to you, though. I'm team? not going to lie to you. As a kid, right? I thought that submarine was cool because, you know, the sides opened up with the guns. So, you know, it's okay. We'll let, we'll let it go. <laughs> I'll let it go. I'll, I'll allow it. But I'm still going to laugh about it. Oh, no. <laughs> don't roll into the explosions. Yeah. That's not good. So this is That's... a pretty easy game to kind of pick up on as I eat a grenade from above. But, you know, I'll take this SMG and... Oh, and I'll take the actual oh, machine gun. M60 just... mode. <sighs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. you saw that. Yeah. I didn't, know, I didn't know that we can actually shoot those actual bomber planes down. Oh, yeah. There's literally almost nothing in this game you can't destroy. There's got to be something you can't destroy. I'm pretty sure that even, like, that crane in the back I can blow up. All right, all right. I'm going to blow up this crane. Yep. Crane, crane goes down. All these guys go down. Let's see what else. I think that that building in the deep distance, can we take that one out? Uh, I don't know. That might be too far. Oh, that's a bridge too far. <laughs> time, to get, time to get some grenades another, for it. Another great game. Oh, God. Ooh. Oh, I lost him. That sucked. Oh, oh, oh. oh, let me keep him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this game's not this game's not too punishing, you know. Well, it's certainly not a Konami title. No, it's nope. not. It's not designed to just destroy your wallet. Like, oh, you know, man. it's another thing I gotta give this game. It, it's fast. The frame rate doesn't drop, considering everything that's going on. That's impressive. Yeah, this is actually a really, really enjoy this one. Oh yeah, this was one of my childhood favorites. I played the crap out of that game. Oh man, it's getting hairy in here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at all this. This is nuts. I don't know right. about you, man, but if Let's I just saw now. two guys with, you know, red and blue jumpsuits just ripping through everything, I, I'd leave. I'd, I don't get paid enough for this. Yeah, I guess it's kind of like the Insect Kingdom, where if it's really brightly colored, you probably don't want to mess with it. <laughs> and you know they don't gotta hide. They don't give any names for these guys either. You know, not like Double Dragon or anything like that. It never got that far, so it, it's literally just no joke, red and blue. Yeah, that's pretty classic. Oh yeah, I mean you know, oh, no. um, look at like tournament fighters and everything else later on. Like the teams of the red team and the blue team. You know, pretty standard video game colors. Man, these guys in the gray are obnoxious, aren't they? Oh yeah, they roll out of the way and you have to keep on trying to lead them. Yeah, how dare they? How dare they steal my tactic? <laughs> well, you know. My... I guess you gotta wait until they're... Oh, yes. You gotta wait until they're throwing the grenade and then they're vulnerable. Yeah, that, that's a good point. Alright, so we're getting close right. to giant so this green is... boat. Giant green boat? Kind of... What do you think's on that boat? Weapons. 
Okay. Weapons and soldiers that we're gonna do more shooting with. Okay. More things to blow up. Got it. Because, you know, these guys can take on an entire army by themselves. Unlimited you know, power, you say? You know, Stallone, Schwarzenegger, eat your hearts out. These guys got everybody done. Maybe that's the name of our guys. Maybe oh, yeah, there we go again. It's Stalloninator. And... And, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm well, at a loss of words. I, I don't know. I don't know. The funny thing about that, and I'll keep this brief, is that, you know, it would have been awesome to see a movie like this with those two back then, but believe it or not, they didn't uh, really like each other. Really? Yeah. That's that's you know, why it didn't happen to the Expendables. I wonder if they made up for it. Maybe they cried into piles of money. Uh, yeah, you know, just kind of bursting their eyes at the money a little bit, but... Hey, you know, that, you know, this kind of the, was the kind of stuff you did when you played games like this. You're like, you know, you are the 80s action star, you know, and this absurd truck. This thing's easy. Look at this. It just sets yeah, up targets is. to shoot. Because there's no punishment for just holding down the shoot button. Just waste ammo as much as you want. Of course, you know. All right, here, come, here comes a hail of grenades. How else am I going to show off my glistening 80s packs, you know? Ooh, are you wearing a bandana, though? Uh, it, that's literally standard equipment. You know, oh. I thought we had talked about this. I got it at orientation. You got it at orientation? Was it the Rambo orientation? One and only. All right. See, so. I feel like in the 80s, you were either a Stallone fan or a Schwarzenegger fan. Am, am I right? Do you guys agree with us on that one? Yeah, you know, guys, uh, tell us about that, because I'm sure you guys made the same comparison. There's no other comparison to be made, but I mean, I kind of like them both. You know, I I wasn't picky. I just liked seeing things explode, which is why I like this game. What little kid doesn't like to watch things just blow up? Oh yeah, but, it's so true. But I'll be honest with you, I feel like I was a more of a Schwarzenegger fan. Yeah, I probably lean more that way too. Yeah, I feel like that. I, I would have been like. So you're gonna tell me you liked Terminator 2 as much as you did, but you were a Stallone fan? You know... <laughs> I think other people we knew, personally though, they were probably more like Stallone fans, they were big into Rocky, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can see that. But you can't beat classic Swar Schwarzenegger and Predator, or Terminator again, you know? Just yeah, you know, about or, or like that Demolition Man. Commando, no. actually, you could call that Cabal the movie, you know, so you could be like, you know, I like you solely, that's why I'm going to kill you last, and, you know, throw yeah. him off the cliff. <laughs> but, I do have one movie that I really like by, by Stallone, Demolition Man. Oh, that, yeah, that is true, that, that's a classic. That is such a good movie, you know, ever since uh, Taco Bell became fine dining, right? Well, you know, after they won the franchise wars, which apparently we might be fighting in, you know, you never know. But uh Really? Franchise see. wars. <laughs> what, what kind of what kind of medals are we gonna get for this? No, well, I'll get a double quarter pounder with cheese, what else? But you know, uh let's see here. Uh, th again, I, you know, and unless, unless I'm mixing up in my geography and I, of course someone in out there's gonna be of course you are. Uh, I, well, I guess, no, there were sandy areas in Vietnam, you know, near beaches and whatnot, but, you know, they don't ever yeah. explicitly say where it was, it was just the reviews that say that it was Vietnam, so. Yeah, I think, I think it was just that late 80s, mid 80s, you know, we're fighting in the jungles. It, it was just kind of a product of its time with the military stuff. Yeah, that's true. You know, they still talk about terrorists. They definitely are fighting terrorists, oh, which yeah, is so that. weird looking back on it now that... And now I'll wait for my new sponsor. Cabal, the fiercest terror force of all. Think you can wipe out the world's toughest terrorists? Fools! They've got thugs, choppers, jet fighters. Go it alone or get help. But if you fail, you'll end up like me. Cabal, for your Nintendo. <laughs> well, you know. Blast that. Blast always that. Take out the, always take out the vehicles and the... And the helicopters, they give you the best points. Oh, yeah. I gotta nice. be able to put my, uh... Oh, gotta be able to put guy. my, uh, initials up there. This guy's so cheap. You see that? Oh, yeah. Look, its own bullets will actually... 
give its like cause it to do this chain reaction. It's so cheap. Well, you know, we've said this before. The game's gonna crank up the difficulty because you'll either keep oh. your money in it. Ah. Uh. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Oh. Come on. Alright, alright, alright. That was just make it rain grenades. Oh, oh come on. That's horse shit. Hold out, hold out, I'm coming back. Oh, ah oh no. come back! Quick! Nice, we got it, okay. Man, we we really fell apart here, man. Oh yeah. We were it's... doing so good up to this point. It's alright guys, we got it, we got it. Just because we, you know, wanna show you this whole thing here. Alright. Alright. So, what on is the, with on this the level dance? five? <laughs> you it's a good question. I don't think that there is a backstory. They just that was what they designed. They were just sort of like, yeah, just make them dance into the sunset. I mean, like, so what's a man dancing that, with a gun? Then they're like, what's a man dancing to the sun look like with a gun? And I guess that's what they came up with. God. Yeah, they they really get you with the uh, with the screen. You just kind of oh, yeah. get so focused on blowing things up that they sneak in with those bullets on you. Oh yeah, it's you get into like a Ooh. flow state, you know. Good, good, come on. We're going. We got, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. Oh, oh, no. Well, so far, I think we've only gone through 14 credits, so 14 quarters. <laughs> We're not doing too bad. This is a pretty cheap game to go through. Oh, sure. I mean, all things considered. Could be a Contra game where they're just gonna really, really milk you for your quarters. Ooh. Alright. Yeah. All right. Like, uh, One more sweep and we, we got him, we got him, we got him. Oh. Come on, cheap. Got him. Nice. Alright. Pushing ahead, we got this. Oh, yeah. All right. Five two, five two. See, Blowing up the what? Village. What about this? Says Vietnam to you? What, uh, like this is Afghanistan? Am yeah, I am I wrong? Somewhere around there, yeah. I um, shot my own wall. That's another pro tip. Don't shoot your own cover. Yeah, it kind of kind of makes. Oh 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 oh. oh. <sighs> yeah, I got lured out for that gun. I was a sucker. That's how they get you. Ooh, I'll get it this time. There goes that chopper. There goes that. This thing makes short work of anything. <laughs> Saw oh, yeah. that. That was some quality stuff right there. That was some quality Ramboing. Alright. Come on. Let's finish this game strong. We got this. Alright, alright, alright. Take out that chopper. Come on, ooh. Yep, I'm not gonna take those grenades. I'm gonna shoot down my own wall. Can't hold me back. Let's get some more, milk some more grenades out of them. And not collect them as I get shot. All right, all right, get some, get some, get some. <laughs> all right, yes. oh, I was doing so Good well, sweep. too. Good no, got a sweep. Nice. <laughs> there we go, they're right. just... Yeah, sometimes this game just gives it to you, where they just load up the screen with guys, you give it a good clean sweep, and boom, you're out of it. Alright. Is it just here, us sh shooting into the, into the void? There's nothing here to shoot. You can't destroy anything, there's no... Oh, okay, there's a few guys. Uh, what they're doing is making it scarce while the bombers are hitting us, so it's gonna be a little bit of a drag. Oh, okay, it's gonna be one of those things where we're gonna yep. have to take down bombers like that. Oh, got one. Got one. Okay. Alright, got the tank, got the tank. Aw, oh, man, they, they are pulling out the stops here. Yeah, okay. So, this is where it gets a little quarter-munchery. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Oh man. They're, they're not... They're not playing fair here. And the amount of bombers, man. This is getting a little... A little out of hand here. Oops, thank you for the assist. I got you. Ooh. Oh. Oh, you got me. Not, all right. All right, come on. Keep keep focusing on defending, staying alive, and taking out <laughs> these tanks. Staying alive like the Bee Gees. That's right. <laughs> Well, this is not too far off from that period. I could see some guys in the arcade sporting the uh, the leisure suits or the uh, or the white the white suits with the bell bottoms. <laughs> All right. Oh man! Ah, uh, is... we got ripped right off of. Go there. Yeah, we did. All right. What? Uh. So, you focus on there, I will try and get some of the ancillary ones out of there so it keeps the fire down. Come on, come yeah. on. I'm just gonna spam with, with nades. Alright! I think that's it, Got we took him. him out. I don't know what kind of super weapon that was. Oh wait. Oh no, no, that's, that, that's one of our guys. That's our dudes. That's us. As we level the entire... The entirety of the battlefield. From the office of the commander. Good work, soldier. We commend you for your bravery in halting the armed forces of the terrorists. Return to headquarters. Your next mission awaits you. All right, guys. Thanks for coming to hang out with us. This was a great blast with you. Like and subscribe if you like what you saw. And tell us about it in the comments. What do you think of the game? Did you play it before? We'll see you on the next game, everybody. Have a good night. See you on the next one.